In our last video, I showed you how the contact us form was configured. In this one, we're going to look at entries, which is the submissions that people make when they fill out the form. But before that, we need to actually embed the form in a website. So we'll start with that. I'm going to start by creating a page. We'll call it contact us. And then we're going to use Gutenberg to insert the Gutenberg block for formidable forms. And you choose a form, and we only have the one, so we'll choose that one. And there's our form. Now, you may recall that in the admin area for this form, first name and last name were on two different lines. But they had the CSS to be only half of the line. Here in the front end, you can see that they are properly up next to each other. So I'm simply going to publish this. And then we will view the page. And here's what it looks like on the page. I'm using a theme called Cadence. And this particular page has no sidebar. So that's the full width of the page. If it did have a sidebar, then it would automatically adjust to fit the size. So let's fill this out. Bob Smith. Bob at example.com. Example.com is a domain reserved for using as an example. So you can use it in all of your tutorials as you make them. Our subject, testing my form, and then we'll put in a message. I always put in more than one line when I'm testing a form to make sure that my line breaks are working and not getting stripped out. All right, so now we'll submit. And the form went away, and here is our message. Now I want to show you something else real quick. If I go to this form again and I submit without anything in there, this is what it looks like as far as error messages. So now let's go back to the admin area. We'll go back to formidable forms. And I want to show you two different things here. Right here under formidable is a menu item for entries. And you can see our entry there. But if you go back to forms and edit, right here's an entries link as well. And this goes to the same place. It's back under this entries menu item. So this is the entries list. And it shows the most important fields from the form. In this case, all of them, because it's a short form. If it were longer, it would only show you the first several. But we see the name, last name, email, subject, message, and then the entry creation date and the entry update date and the IP address that it came from. And then we can either delete it or if we click view, then here we can see the full entry. And again, if this were a longer form, then of course you would see much more data here than on the front page. And we can see here my line breaks are working. If there had been fields allowed to be empty and they were empty, you would not see them listed here. But you can click here to show empty fields. It doesn't do anything in this case because I don't have any empty fields. On the right, you can delete entry. You could print this entry. If you have the pro version, you can resend emails and edit the entry. And then there's a bunch of information here about it. When it was submitted, the entry ID, entry key, and the user information about the person who sent it. If the person were not logged in, then you would not see it created by here. I'm logged in, so it knows who I am. If you have multiple forms and you are on the entries page, right now we're viewing all forms. If you had multiples and you really only wanted one, then you could choose just that one and filter it. Right here, you'll note that you can import entries. Also, if you go to the import export area, you can export entries to a CSV or something and import them into whatever tool you wish. We're actually going to go through that process in a later video. Once you have entries, then you can do things with views. 
and views are not enabled in the free version. We'll get to them once we have the pro version installed. Views allow you to create something on the front end of the website where people can see these entries. So you could make a system for people to put in testimonials and then print those testimonials on the front end, or you could make a list of people coming to an event, etc. We'll look at those in another video as well. But that's how entries work. You fill out the form and they get entered right here and you can view them and potentially edit them.